All right, so in this episode, I'm going to talk about a very powerful theorem, uh, which is first proposed by uh, Gale and Chapley in 1962. And the theorem is the following. There always exists a stable matching in any one-on-one -on -one matching market, all right? So uh, for any preference relation uh, you give me, if it is a finite, remember, one-to-one -one matching market, well, then I will always get you a stable matching. Well, how am I going to get you the stable matching? Uh, well, the, the Gale and Shapley also proposes an algorithm to get this stable matching. Uh, well, it's called Deferred Acceptance Algorithm, or uh, DA. Uh, because there are two sides in the one-to-one -one matching, student side, college side, uh, there are actually two kinds of uh, uh, deferred acceptance uh, algorithm. Student proposing deferred acceptance and college proposing uh, deferred acceptance. All right. Well, here it is the, I mean, this version is the student proposing deferred acceptance algorithm. All right. Uh, let me read it through, uh, through, and then I'll sort of work on this example, and then talk about what it would mean uh, uh, college uh, proposing deferred acceptance. So um, the, the DA method or the DA algorithm, the student proposing deferred acceptance algorithm, works in finite steps. In the first step, in the very first step, uh, each student applies to his or her first choice, first best college only. Okay? All right. Well, then each college tentatively holds the most preferred student if there are multiple applicants. If there's no applicant, obviously this college is not going to do anything, but if there are multiple applicants, the students, the most preferred students will be admitted, but tentatively, and then all the other students will be rejected. All right. And once a student is rejected, well, then those students are not allowed to reapply. Okay. Well, in step two or in any other step T, greater than or equal to two, it repeats itself, all right? So I call it step T. Each student rejected in the previous step, step T minus one, applies to the next best, all right? So you're not allowed to apply again to the same college because you're rejected. That means you're going to apply to your next best. Well, then after receiving the, uh, you know, uh, applications, each college is going to consider the new applicants. There might be more than one new applicants and the student uh, who has been tentatively accepted in stage T minus one. Uh, maybe no one admitted tentatively, but may, probably one student has been admitted tentatively. So the college is going to think about that student plus the new applicant. Out of all those candidates, the college is going to accept the best student and reject everybody else. All right. And then uh, basically it repeats itself. Um, so this, uh, this, this algorithm, this process, will terminate uh, when there is no more applications by the students, all right, obviously, and it will terminate in a finite number of steps. Why is that so? Well, because there are finite number of students and finite number of colleges, and so the process must finish at some finite step, okay? Good. Well, let's work on with this example. If you change the preferences, obviously the stable matching will change as well. So let's find the stable matching according to student proposing deferred acceptance algorithm for this particular example. All right. According to step one, all students are going to apply to their best colleges. So student one, student two, and student three, they will all apply to college one. College two and college three will receive no applications. Okay. I'm not, by the way, defining a game tree here. This is not a game. This is an algorithm 
to find a stable matching. And Galen Shapley basically says, if you follow this algorithm, trust us, uh, the outcome you're gonna get is going to be stable, all right? Obviously, there might be a bunch of other algorithms which are going to give you stable matching, uh, but this is one of them, okay, at least. And it will always produce a stable matching, all right? So this is a, and, and the second thing, I mean, do we know that this, this, I mean, who, who runs this algorithm? This is the central authority. Remember, we are talking about a centralized market. A central authority receives the student's preferences, receives the college's preferences, and then according to those preferences, applies this algorithm and then uh, produces the outcome, which we're going to find next. Well, are those truthfully revealed? We're not there yet. Let's suppose for simplicity, yes, students and colleges truthfully uh, reveal their preferences, okay? Student one uh, prefers college one, I mean, and college two in this ranking. So college one is his best, college two is the second best, and he doesn't want to go to college three. Uh, similarly, student two prefers college one over college three, but she doesn't want to go to college two. And student three, there's only one acceptable college, which is college one. All the other colleges are unacceptable for her. All right, so I didn't write whether she prefers C2 over C, uh, C, C2. C2 over C3 or C3 over C2. We don't know, we don't care because this algorithm is not going to match student three with college two or three. Uh, that would be unstable, all right? And, 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 and colleges, uh, for simplicity, I assume that they all have the same ranking over students, okay? Uh, and all students are perfectly acceptable, and so you can put the uh, 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 no match as the worst alternative. So as I said, at each step, students, I'm sorry, at the first step, uh, students basically apply to their first best college, in which, in this case, it's college one. Uh, so other colleges did not receive anything. Okay, so C1, C2, C3, these are tentative uh, matches, okay? Um, well, college one is gonna look those three. I mean, not it's not college one it is looking. It's the the person who is running this algorithm is going to look that college one is receiving all three students' application, but college one prefers school one. So therefore, student one. I'm sorry, student one should be admitted tentatively to college one, and the other students, student two and three, should be rejected. Okay, so this is basically the first step. Okay, step one, S2 and S3 rejected. Okay, step two. Uh, well, remember, uh, school uh, student two is rejected and school th uh, student three is also rejected. Well, then what? According to this uh, algorithm, students are going to apply to their best uh, next best. Well, student one is not going to make any application. Well, why is that? Well, because he is already placed in, 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 in step one. So therefore here we're going to think about or uh, look at student two and three. Student two, his next best is C3 and student three's next best is no match. Hmm. So you know what? Student three should be matched to no one then. Okay, uh, good. Uh, what about uh, college three? Well, by the way, school one uh, did not receive any new applicants in step two. So therefore, college one will still have student one. Um, college three, however, uh, uh, yeah, college three, however, now has a new applicant, which is student uh, number two. And that's it. Student three should be matched to uh, no one uh, because this is her preferences. And therefore, college two is going to be uh, matched to no one. So that's it. In two step, uh, the outcome is over. It is the matching is the following. Student one is matched with college one. Student two, oops, this is my two, I'm sorry is matched with uh, school three, college three, and then student three is matched with uh, no college, uh, which means 
so, uh, college three is also matched with no student, okay? Well, this is it. This is the outcome. The question is, is this really a stable outcome? Well, yeah, you can check. First of all, is player one going to say, hey, you matched me something unacceptable, worse than my uh, empty set? No, C1 was your first best. Uh, what about uh, college one? Well, college one accepts all students. I mean, find acceptable all students. So therefore, uh, no individual one or college one is going to uh, block this uh, match. What about individual two or student two? Well, remember C3 is better than empty set and for college three, everybody is acceptable. And, and same for player three. Player three is not being matched. And so therefore uh, no player, I'm sorry, no individual is going to block this matching. Is there any pair, student uh, and college pair who will actually block this uh, uh, matching? Well, you can think of, for example, remember, I mean, you don't really need to look at S1, C1, but let's see. Is student one can find another matching which is going to give him better than college one? Impossible because he's already getting his first best. So student one will never, never block this matching. Same for college one. I mean, college one gets the, its, its first best. So college one is not going to block. All right. What about student two? Is it possible that student two is going to block C3? Uh, with some other college? Well, the only thing uh, is that the student two can get better off is basically being placed or, or admitted by college one. But remember, college one does not prefer student two over student one. I mean, S2 preferred by C1, S1. No, this is not true because college one prefers student one over student two. So therefore, school two is not going, I'm sorry, student two uh, is not going to block. Um, uh, uh, I mean, there's no pair together with student two can block this matching. What about C3? I mean, is there any pair with including college three which may block this matching? Well, college three is getting student two, right? In order to block this matching, you have to match, uh, I mean, school three, college three should be getting student one, but student one is already getting his first best. So student one and college three pair is not going to block this uh, matching. And finally, is student three, can it be a part of blocking pair? Uh, well, student three actually can block this matching if and only if it pairs with college one, but remember college one is already getting its own first best candidate. And so college, uh, I'm sorry, student three will never be a part of pair, which will uh, block the, uh, the matching. And so there's going to be no individual and pair uh, that will block this uh, matching. And hence, this is really stable. Okay, well, what is next? As I promised, let me talk about a college proposing a deferred acceptance algorithm. Well, it's the same thing, but well, this time uh, the role will be reversed. So in remember, in the student proposing deferred acceptance algorithm, we had in step one, each student were applying to first choice college. Now what's going to happen? Each college is going to, right? So each college is going to send admission to their first best, all right? And then in the second step, each student are going to look at admissions and then will accept the best college uh, that they, 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 they received offer, all right? And then uh, will reject everybody else. In the next step or in any step t greater than or equal to two, well, each student is that, I mean, I'm sorry, each college that is reject in the previous step will actually admit the, their next best student, all right? 
think of this as a sort of a weightless. And then uh, the students are going to consider not only the college they admit, accepted in the previous period, T minus one, tentatively, and the new uh, sort of acceptance offers, and they're gonna look at all those colleges, and then students are going to choose their best colleges and reject everybody else, all right? And then this process is going to repeat itself. It will terminate whenever no college makes any admission decision. And it will certainly terminate in finite stages. So here, let's do this, uh, the college deferred acceptance. So what happens is, uh, well, let's leave it that way. Uh, the colleges are going to admit, because they all prefer student one, student one only. Student two and three are going to receive no uh, acceptance offer, um, sadly. Student one is going to get three letters from college one, two, and three. And student one is going to look and he's going to say, well, I prefer college one. And so student one will be matched with college uh, one, tentatively. Then uh, college two and three, remember their uh, C2, C3 are rejected by student one. So therefore, in this step one, that was step one. Step two, C2 and C3, C1 is not gonna make another offer. Why is that? Well, because remember, uh, colleges are having only one seat available. Uh, so therefore, uh, college one already uh, filled its seats, uh, which was one. So college two and three are gonna basically offer the next best student, which is for both student two. Well, in the second step, student three still receives no offer, unfortunately. And then uh, student two receives three offer. Student two is gonna look, uh, well, college one is my first best, but I did not receive any offer from college one. Uh, I only received offers from college two and college three, which I certainly go for college three. So therefore, S2 will be matched with college three, tentatively. If students receive any better offer, well, obviously they're gonna kick out uh, school three, but he, you know, student two is not gonna get any better offer because the better offer was college one, which is already out of the picture. So what else? Uh, step three. Oh, here, I'm sorry, uh, I should have said C2 is rejected, all right? And then in step three, C2 offers uh, to uh, student three. All right, and then student three says, well, you know what, C2 is an unacceptable for me, and then S3 rejects. Which basically means student three is not matched. So, if you use a college proposing deferred acceptance algorithm, what you get is student one is matched with college one, student two is matched with college three, student three is matched with nothing, and obviously college three is, uh, is, is matched with nothing.